Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to delete your system storage on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. First, I will open up my settings app here, and then you'll just want to scroll down until you find general and tap on that. And then find iPhone storage, and we can tap on that. And this breaks down all of your iPhone storage. It'll say, you can see I've used 33.6 gigabytes of 64 gigabytes. By color, it sh says what's using the most data, apps, system, photos, messages, other. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see two big culprits here. System is taking up 8.15 gigabytes and other is taking up 5.51 gigabytes. Unfortunately, those both are kind of core files that you know the iPhone needs in order to run iOS. So depending on which iOS version you have, I'm running iOS 14, um, they might be bigger or smaller there, but really there's nothing you can do about the system or the other storage at the very bottom here. However, if you scroll up, you can see a few different options that you have in terms of reducing the amount of um, uh, space that everything is taking up. So recommendations, it says offload unused apps. So basically what this does is if you don't use an app for a really long period of time, what it does is it kind of offloads it um, and then you can always just reinstall it later once you want to use it. You can review large attachments. So you can go to that. It'll probably show you a bunch of videos that you can go through and delete. So this is in your messages. So if you've sent like, you know, minutes long messages or videos, then you might want to delete those. Those might take up a lot of space. But another thing that you'll want to do is go through all these apps. You can see photos is taking up five gigabytes. Um, so you can obviously go through your photos and delete photos. Messages is taking up 1.6 gigabytes. We can go through and review large attachments as I talked about. However, one other thing that you might want to do is you can see, say for example, TikTok here is using 457 uh, megabytes. Probably a lot of that is within the actual cache itself and not the app. So I'll give you an example. I'll open up TikTok here. I'll tap on the me at the bottom right and then the three dots at the top right. And then if you scroll down, mine isn't huge, but you can see clear cache, 50 megabytes, and now it's down to zero. If this is like a thousand megabytes, that's a gigabyte. So Potentially just by going through different apps, you can clear up a bunch of data in just the cached memory. So going through all these steps, you should be able to delete lots of system storage and free up lots of space on your iPhone. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks.